Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things of what you're doing And in my head I paint a picture well, Since I've come home, well my body's been a mess And I miss your joy Happy St. Patrick's Day! It's gonna be a fabulous day today. For spring break, I'm going to be taking a road trip with four of my girlfriends to Salt Lake City, Utah. My birthday also happens to fall on one of the days during the trip, which is so special and I just... My dog's paws are just like the main star of the show today. Today's gonna be an exciting day. I'm gonna be seeing one of my girlfriends. We're gonna grab a meal together, hopefully at this place called Wilder if they're open because they were closed for a bit for some reason. Before I get my day going though, I'm gonna take my morning vitamins and probiotic. I've talked about this before on my socials, but I actually am in desperate need to go get my refill. These are the two different supplements I take. They're both from the brand Ritual. This is a daily multivitamin for women 18 and up. And then this one is a Symbiotic Plus, which has a prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. I didn't even know what any of those words meant, and I wish that I was educated more on that in high school. But yeah, there's a lot of drinks that promote prebiotics and things like that, but this has three in one, and I just take it at the same time every day. I only have three more of these, but ever since I started taking these, my gut has changed drastically. I have had the worst luck with bloating in my life, and I know that a lot of other women struggle with bloating because it, it is just a common thing, but you don't need to suffer and be a victim to that anymore because trust me there is aid and it can be fixed with this thing and then the other supplement i'm taking is the multivitamin that i mentioned earlier just one of the many things that i love about ritual is that it has this minty taste and guess what my favorite ice cream flavor is mint chocolate chip but i think what's even more important if you want to take that next step is incorporating that symbiotic plus because as a female there are so many daily disturbances like mood swings, getting your menstrual cycle, being stressed out, eating a food that upsets your stomach, and having a solution. This has genuinely become like my best friend. It just slides down the throat too, so it's not weirdly coated. Y'all are in luck because I have a discount code for you guys. If you use my code at CarolineM25, you can get 25% off your first order. That's right. And you know what's even better? If you don't like and you're not impressed with Ritual, which trust me, you will be impressed, the first order is on them. So it really is a win-win over here. <laughs> and let's get the day started. Lighting is really wacky right now. I just went to Caffeina. It's a couple hours later after hanging out with Miss Allie. Our food was so scrumptious. Oh my gosh, every single thing that we got today, I am gonna be dreaming about it. It was that good. In honor of St. Patrick's Day. No, this is not a matcha. This is a, oh, I got a text. This is a cold brew, but I got mint and oat milk, and apparently the mint is green, so I don't know if this is just like a St. Patty's Day festive thing where they colored it, but I'm so here for this. Mm, so good. I told you guys when I was taking my vitamins, I love, love mint. We're going to Target right now because I need to get refills of my Billy razor heads, and also I need to get shaving cream. And if I'm feeling crazy, Maybe I will go to Barnes and Noble, but I am gonna take a look at the book section and Target and see what we're working with Because then I wouldn't have to drive to Barnes and Noble. That would kind of save me a trip So let's go get spring break ready It saves me a trip from going to Barnes and Noble, so I'd call it a win I'm so confused. I could have sworn Billy Razors was here at Target and I don't see it anywhere. 
Okay, that was weird. Like, Target always has Billy, which is why I'm so confused right now. I walked around there for probably a good 15 minutes between all the beauty aisles just to make sure that I wasn't crazy. I asked somebody and they thought I was crazy, but I literally worked with Billy before and they're at Target. So I did not get my Billy refills or the shaving cream that I like from them. But what I did get is this Gillette. Gillette. I never know how to pronounce this brand. I'm just gonna try it out for fun. I also got a book by Emily Henry. She's a really good author. I think she's the author of People We Meet on Vacation. And that is one of my favorite books. It's one of the first books that made me get into reading. Okay, I'm gonna go home. Kind of bummed, honestly. I'm gonna try Target probably tomorrow or the next day because I do need to get like new razor heads. One of my girlfriends is about to pick me up and we are going to go shopping this morning. I think we're gonna attempt to go to a different Target. So not the one that I went to that didn't have the Billy products. And then we're also gonna go to the village at Meridian and hopefully check out the new Brandy Melville because they just opened one here in Idaho, which is kind of random. I feel like they've been on a kick lately of opening really popular, well-known places like In-N-Out, now Brandy Melville. And I'm not complaining. I just never thought that I would see the day that they would open one here. But yeah, it's been a nice slow morning. I wrote some thank you cards. So many of my family members have been sending some sweet cards and gifts in the mail for my birthday. So if you don't write thank you notes, definitely write them because it means a lot more than just a text message. time it is it's haul time my mom got this for me as one of my gifts tom petty excuse my hair right now i literally just threw it up high i want it out of my face because matcha and i went on a walk after i hung out with kaylee and i got all sweaty and i just needed it up um we're gonna do a haul of what i got oh my gosh i used to do videos like this all the time and this is making me really excited we went to two targets today. The first one we went to was literally the same one that I went to yesterday Did not put two and two together until we were literally in the aisle and then I was like, oh shoot Okay, yeah, they're not gonna have this one here. So we went to a different one and Your girl got her Billy shaving cream and then I also got my blade razor refills Honestly, this shaving cream is probably gonna last me a year, but I did just get that other one so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one to travel. I'm gonna use the other one at home because the other one has one of those like spray can things. So I can't even take that on a plane or anything or else it's gonna explode. So it's okay, now I'll just have one for here and then one to travel with. You guys, I spent a lot. I kind of went overboard today at Brandy Melville. <sighs> Am I proud of it? No, but in my defense, I never go clothes shopping for myself and my friend also splurged at Brandy. So it was just like a bonding moment for us. So anyways, um, today's grand total, $261.82. Happy birthday! Cheers to turning 20, you guys. Let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into it. They have the cutest bags now. I didn't know that they had these bags available. I was really excited, personally, because I'm going to use these. First clothing item is this tank top. Looks like this. Brandy Melville just has the cutest tank tops and staples. So you're going to see a lot of that in here, in this haul. Also, there's no order that I'm doing this in. Next, I got these pants. It's a pinstripe beige and cream pair of pants. And then I love the drawstring on these. It's kind of boho, very beachy coastal. Perfect to wear for lounging around or also to just slip on over a bathing suit. My camera just died, but we are back. Don't worry. I think this is adorable. Love the fact that it has a hoodie on it too. Some might say grandma cottage core vibe. Hey, 
I go to bed early. I'm here for it. And then last thing in this bag is this super cute, really oversized, chunky knit sweater. Looks like this, and it's just gray. Oh my gosh. I will be wearing this. 25.8. On to the next bag. Oh, how cute. You guys aren't ready for this one. I know you're not ready. Idaho. Boom, baby. I feel like every girl has this big staple logo t-shirt from Brandy because whatever location the store is in, nine times out of 10, it says the location. This one says Idaho and I don't have any shirts, believe it or not, that say Idaho. Okay, then I got another tank. This one is kind of pinstripe. It reminds me of that brand Nautica that's like a sailing preppy coastal brand. I just love the colors on this and it's kind of like waffle knit rib material almost. Then I had to get a pair of sweatpants. So I got this gray drawstring. I think Brandy Melville either changed or added to their sweatpant collection because I don't see that really thick sweatpant band anymore that has like the obnoxiously thick cuffs at the bottom. Instead, I just saw a bunch of this really thin waistband, which really suits my body type i think a lot better i feel like the other one it sat really weird on my hips and so it i don't know there's just like it was it's just not as flattering this one i really like because i feel like i can actually eat a meal in it then i got another pair of pants but this one is very much pj lounge around the house pants it's this beautiful cotton pink lounge wear i'm just obsessed with it like the detail literally reminds me of the blanket that i had when i was like three years old but i think that's why i like it because it's very cozy and even in the fall like pairing this with a pair of uggs would be really really cute and then the last item is yes you guessed it another tank top this one comes pre-cropped which is nice because I have a very small torso. I don't need like five foot tank tops up in here. And it's just so cute and dainty and I can pair it with literally anything. So that's my haul for today. Um, I will be wearing a lot of these pieces on my spring break road trip to Utah. I think I'm gonna plan to either pack tonight or tomorrow because we leave in two days. I'm gonna be so real right now. I am a last minute packer, but hopefully not for this trip. T minus one day until Salt Lake City. Tomorrow we're gonna leave. I grabbed a couple snacks and things that I definitely wanna bring for the road trip. Macho needs his trees, obviously, so these are his greenies. And then some Crunchios. These are all the snacks that I'm gonna bring. I tried these for the first time today. Holy cow, these are amazing. And then of course I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. So wanted to give myself and my friends some variety. We've got chocolate cake, protein cookies, and then birthday cake. And then these beef sticks are just such a great easy snack. They're the perfect size and they're filled with protein. Basically out of my ritual vitamins. So these are both brand new packs and I'm gonna be bringing these along as well. It's time, we're packing. We're starting off in the bathroom. You guys are on the tripod today, but this is today's filming fit. We've got this Boston Red Sox shirt and these like cute little plaid shorts from Brandy Melville. I just filmed a controversial video on my TikTok. So if you're not following my TikTok, go ahead and follow it because I talked about all the reasons why I will only date for marriage and it was a get ready with me at the same time. I'm gonna grab some toiletry bags. First off, we're gonna bring the infamous Glossier bag. This lasted me all semester at sea. She's really gross and beat up and I have a feeling that I should probably get rid of it soon. Like there's gotta be mold in this, right? We're gonna use it for one more trip, which is gonna be this one. Also, let's bring also gonna bring this bag from zit Sticka. makeup is gonna go in here toiletries are gonna go in here starting off with the shower i'm gonna grab shampoo shampoo and conditioner razor heads now that i have my new heads i can finally take these ones off this one's for my legs this one's for down there whipped shaving cream found a travel size bottle of my shampoo so i don't have to bring the big bottle but i will have to bring the conditioner apologies if my hair looks like a big frizz ball from the back typology serum typology cleanser summer friday's cloud moisturizer and then for hair products because i definitely am going to be curling my hair for my birthday living proof heat styling spray this bag can fit a lot this is one of the gifts that my mom got me for christmas body wash and then boom boom cream this stuff smells 
divine. Two fresh razor heads. We're gonna throw in this Caudalie face mask because no pores or acne for the birthday weekend. And then I think last but not least, I just need to do my contacts. I always keep my contacts in this bag. I'll be there for four days. Here's four. I feel like that's all I need for my bathroom. Everything else is just gonna be makeup. I can't believe I forgot one of the most important things, which is deodorant, toothpaste, and my retainers. Like I said, I filmed a get ready with me over here, so this is kind of nice because I already have all the makeup laid out. So I'm gonna bring powder, bronzer, foundation, concealer, definitely hair clips, primer, lash serum, lash separator, Clearly, we love makeup over here. Makeup brushes, and then cannot forget the beauty blender. Now on to everything that I'm packing for Utah. I have a big pile over here, so I'm just gonna go through the clothes. The weather forecast is not what I was hoping for. We're gonna think positive and hopefully God will throw in some sunshine and get rid of the rain on Saturday. If you wanna join me, this little guy will be coming on the trip with us. It will be his first road trip, but he's very good in the car usually, so I have a good feeling about this. First off, I'm bringing this Free People athletic dress. This is so comfortable and I feel like it's very appropriate for spring weather. I can wear a cropped baby tee under it, or I was thinking of wearing this cotton on pink tube top. I absolutely love this one. I got this in, I think Cape Town, South Africa. I think it would look adorable paired with this. So that's one outfit. Next, I'm bringing these pajama shorts. These are my favorite. Look at how dainty and adorable this is. It's from Brandy Melville. Yeah, these are just my favorite things to wear to bed because it's very light and airy and it just screams cozy. Then I'm bringing this gray top from White Fox Boutique. I showed it in one of my latest videos, but I love the cinch in the front. Very, very flattering on and this might be something that I wear on my birthday. Maybe in the daytime, we'll see. So I was thinking of pairing that with these jeans that are also from White Fox Boutique. I love, love, love these jeans. Then I'm bringing this fun little cardigan. I was thinking maybe I could wear this with that athletic dress. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this yet, but I think this would be perfect, either for the road trip to wear in the car or just to wear over something out to lunch or something. I think we're gonna do a hike when we're there. So I'm bringing my navigation leggings. These are actually inside out, oops. But these leggings hug all the right places, very, very flattering. And as much as I love my Lululemon Align leggings, I feel like the material of that is really only suitable for yoga and Pilates. And anytime that I try to do either a HIIT workout or something that needs more durability, it kind of like wears and tears at the material so I'm just bringing my navigation ones because those are really really thick and then to go with that if we go on a hike I have my aloe sports bra this is also something that I could wear with a pair of jeans and then even throw like a zip up over so this is just a great staple sports bra to have I love aloe yoga for my birthday dinner I have really been wanting to wear this dress this dress actually just reminded me there is lace ribbon that I want to bring as well that I can curl my hair and then put it and then dress it up but I made dinner reservations at this place called Franklin Avenue in Salt Lake City and this dress is just the most precious thing that I've ever seen. I'm really excited to wear that. You're gonna see some familiar pieces tomorrow in the car. I'm planning on wearing my new Brandy Melville sweatpants and then pairing it with my new Brandy Melville tank, just this gray and navy blue one. Ultimate cozy car ride. Nobody wants any tight bands around their waist. So that's gonna be tomorrow's road trip fit. And then I also just wanted to bring this to lounge around the Airbnb in and get all cozy and stuff. Or maybe I'll wear this one in the car tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Those are all the clothes that I am planning on bringing because I'm not gonna be there for a long time. And I also don't want to overpack too much. So I'm gonna put these in my packing cubes and then I need to get like my basic essentials. So underwear, socks, bras, and then a swimsuit because I think we're gonna go to the hot springs in Utah. Mm -hmm.